Welcome to my bedroom. Um, it's very intimate. I'm inviting you in. Um, however, I have spent way too much time in my bedroom as you probably have also this year. And with that, I have been doing a lot of thinking, as one does, um, about the like things in my space and like the things, like the physical things that like I put in it. I've decided to show you my favorite objects, my favorite trinkets in rainbow order because do it for the girls and the gays. Yeah, I'm not a very materialistic person, but I do think there's like a very important value to have like on special like tangible items that you can like cherish. I think that it's so cute that humans do that because they just choose things to like place sentiment on. And I, I like, I moved a lot around as a child. And I think with that, I have like really have had a childhood of training dare I say, of just like figuring out what's important to me and what I, what I actually want to keep. Um, so with that, here are my favorite objects in rainbow order. Oh, I did not plan this out well whatsoever. I have my things just scattered around my room. But red, um, it's this game called We're Not Really Strangers. And it is a card game that is based on the idea that we should genuinely get to know more people in our lifetimes as like, as humans. And it's like my favorite thing. And I bring it on like first dates or like picnics with friends. I found this on Instagram because they have a really cool Instagram. They just post like really like thought provoking questions. Um, but they also have a card game and you basically open it, it says, inside we're all the same and then it comes with like a note pad because the last card that you play is that you like write a note to the person that you're playing with and then you don't open the note until you have like departed from each other and I think it's so cute like so one of the cards is like what does my Instagram tell you about me or what's the most pain you've ever been in that wasn't physical um, and then there's like, what do you recommend I let go of, if anything? And it's just like a very just like honest game and it just makes you question like how honest you are with yourself and like how much you are willing to share with others. And I think that's just like, that's really good for like self-development. This is my favorite red object. I, I by no means um, want this video to be like a bragging sense in any way. Um, like I don't want it to be like, look at all these cool fancy things that I have and you don't because I have an elitist mindset. But no, I, I just genuinely thought this would be like a cute video idea and I have just been more appreciative about um, certain things and have realized that some other things aren't so essential or necessary. Essential, haha, because <laughs> um, there's a pandemic and I just thought this would be a cool way to showcase things that do matter to me. So anyway, on with the next thing. <laughs> I actually have my bookshelf arranged in rainbow order as well. So this was easy to find because it is a vibrantly orange book and it's called A Bunch of Pretty Things I Did Not Buy and it's by Sarah Lazarovic. And it's basically, it follows this um, journal-like style of narrative. Uh, the author describing like her relationship with buying things and consumerism. Um, yeah, it's pretty much a book on consumerism. So cute, it's super adorable. And this book just really taught me to be very purposeful with what I spend my money on and what I keep and like, where do you place your sentiment? Yeah, and I just really like the illustration in it. I thought it was ironic at first because honestly, like genuinely the reason I bought this is because it looked pretty and I bought it, but it did teach me a lot. So I guess that this one thing that I bought was worth um, not buying the rest of the things that I might've would've, that I might've would've, huh, okay. Alrighty, on to yellow. Um, so yellow is easy to find because I am wearing it. My favorite yellow items are these little tiny gold hoops that I have on my ears and I wear them all the time. I will rarely ever take these off. I kind of honestly forget that they are there because I have had them since I was like nine years old and my grandma got them for me. These are something that are meaningful to me because they were given to me by my grandma. And they're just those like classic type of things that can like be passed down through generations. Um, like I always find it so kind of beautiful when one of my friends is like, yeah, I got this ring or this necklace, etc. We pass this down every generation and every daughter gets it and I'm like wow so I guess these are technically gold but they are my favorite yellow item so this is my favorite green item uh, it is this dress and it is a dark kind of forest green and I got this around when I was I think 14 
and I have got I got this dress after my mom and I were watching it like we had we had been like eyeing this dress for a hot second because um, it was like over a hundred dollars I think and at the time that was like way too much for me um, so we just kind of waited for it to go down I don't remember how much this eventually was um, but I do remember that I thought that this was like this was the dress this is the most perfect piece of clothing that I can decorate my body with and appreciate. The first time I wore it was at a family's wedding and they had their wedding at one of the presidential libraries. I felt so powerful and so like posh. And then it was just like a kind of, not a power move, but it definitely was like a bonding moment where we were like, yeah, we can afford this. Like this is something we can like get. All right, so on to blue that I went with this, which is Blue Neighborhood by Troye Sivan. I remember being so excited when this album came out and I had won this radio contest to go meet Troy. The day after I'd met him um, was like his concert in my area. Went to that concert and it was my first concert ever. And I was so excited because I had bought the tickets from this girl that I found on Twitter. My mom was like, why are you buying tickets from a stranger off the internet? And I was like, I, this means so much to me, dude. So this album has just like a lot of meaning to me. And this is my favorite blue object. Okay, so I know there is indigo in the rainbow. However, I simply cannot find something in my room that I care enough about that is indigo colored. So I'm just gonna go on to the last color, which is violet slash purple. My favorite purple item is this perfume and it's Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. And it was, I think the first perfume that she put out in like the Speak Now era or something like that. I'm pretty sure these are discontinued, but it is this little vial, this little potion bottle of the best smell ever. Like this is just, I don't think I can ever use this bottle up because then the, the scent will be lost forever. And I'm scared of using it all, but it is my favorite scent by my favorite artist. All right, so that concludes my favorite things in rainbow order. Again, I don't mean to like be like, look at all the things I have and I love them so much and you'll never have them, um, not at all. So that, that's it. Um, I'm gonna go off to some farmland and take care of several children. Oh my God, what if I raindrop some roses and, okay, we're not really strangers and a book that is orange tells me not to buy too many things that are horrid to golden rings that go on my ears and a dress that I wore once but is very dear. Blue Neighborhood is one of my favorite albums. Perfume that's discontinued, but I still smell. Um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for showing up. I don't know if anyone's gonna watch this, but if you do, thanks for sticking through it. These are my favorite things in rainbow order. Bye!